Sex Talks About Apps. Uh huh. Hello everybody, Dalek Sex speaking at the voice of sex on Twitter if you're headed over my way, and you should be, because I'm great. This is Sex Plays um, Power Rangers Dash, Saban's Power Rangers Dash. Taking credit where it's not strictly due there, but um, go on. We shall allow it. Uh, I don't really want to be playing this. I'm sure um, I'm sure Overlord Zeta on Destructoid will, will enjoy this, but... Um, no. Okay, so click like for Digital Masters Facebook. I shall not, sir. I shall not. Um, in my opinion, Digimon are not the champions. Oh, received a reward. Very good. Change into Digital Mons. Fucking hell, now I've got that stuck in my head. The reason I'm playing this pile of shit is that... Uh, I want to talk about the Royal Rumble, which is this weekend, this Sunday, I think. And uh, this isn't really a wrestling channel, and the places I likely to post this are going to be video game places. So uh, I'm putting some video game content in to make it on topic, because I'm a Machiavellian manipulator like that. Let's have a look at the Rangers that I have got. Uh, SPD Red. Decker Red. Uh, his name was Kai. He was a twat. I've got him in there because he's got a good gun. The way in which this basically works is ranged characters do shit damage and close-in characters do excellent damage. Operator Black, I'm not sure which show he is from. Red Overdrive, Barken Red. Oh, I love Barkenges. Probably my favourite Power Rangers show. Um, we're we're going to jump in here. We're going to jump in and... Um, and show you what this is all about. It's an, it, it's a runner, so you can probably uh, figure it out yourself. Anyway, so yeah, let's talk about the Rumble. So this is how WWE should book the Rumble this Sunday. Now we're going to start off with the with the assumption, nay, the agreement that. Roman Reigns can't win the Rumble. Uh, two reasons Roman Reigns can't win the White Rumble. First of all, it will give everybody... Ooh, I'm a big Decker robot, yes. <laughs> that was fun, even though I didn't do anything. Um, it will give people traumatic flashbacks of last year's Rumble, the, the uh, itchy, scratchy and poochy incident from last year. And we can't have that, not when the not when the ratings are struggling so badly. Secondly, um the Rumble is the kickoff to WrestleMania season. It's it's the road to Wrestle it's the start of the road to WrestleMania. And if you want Roman Reigns to be the big draw for WrestleMania, and they pretty much do now that Cena is injured and the company has no backup plan, then you can't start the road to WrestleMania with Cena tri with uh, Reigns triumphant. Rather, he has to start as the underdog, and he has to build his way up. So, how do they how do they pull themselves out of this with so many wrestlers injured? Right, here is what they do: the Rumble starts off with a with an argument, a, a sort of like a drama sketch between Reigns and and Triple H, and Reigns is being like, oh, Triple H, you, you, you villain, I, I know you, you're, you're gonna screw me over tonight at the Rumble, because of what I, you're gonna abuse your position to get back at me for what I did to you at TLC. And then, um, Triple H is gonna be, oh, no, 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 I'm not gonna, uh, I'm not going to use my abuse my power to get back at you. In fact, Roman, I'm going to give you... Oh, fuck, I lost Kai. All right, Borken Red, in you come. Go, 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 ready, go. So send me Borkenja. Fucking love Borkenjas. I saw the Borkenja movie at the cinema in Shinjuku. That's how sad I am. Admittedly, I only went in there to see the... Uh, I think it was the Kamen Rider Kabuto movie I went in to see. But, uh, 
it, it was a double feature. Anyway, I got a lot of strange looks. <sighs> Where was I? Yeah, um, Roman Reigns. I'm. I'm not going to abuse my power to to take out a personal vendetta on you. In fact, Roman, I'm going to give you a chance to shine like you've never had. I'm going to put you into the rumble first, and just to show that I'm not trying to screw you over, I won't make you fight Brock Lesnar until last. So. We start off with a situation where Roman has got to fight 30 dudes and he's got to cap it off by fighting a fighting the beast fully refreshed. So th this starts off and uh, the, the first the first 10 wrestlers worth we can we can pretty much ignore because it's just going to be uh, comedy comedy shenanigans. I mean, Adam Rose will come out and there will be a man dressed as a hot dog. Probably uh, Tyler Breeze will probably also be be in evidence. Uh, maybe they'll bring Rikishi back. That would be good, wouldn't it? Uh, anyway, uh, Roman keeps to the periphery. He tries not to tire himself out. Then uh, ten ten guys in. Maybe the 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 thing it uh, shit gets real. And Seamus comes out and is like, You're right, fucker. How are you? Remember me. And then straight after comes Rusev and straight after comes, uh, straight after comes Del Rio. And oh, fuck, I've died. And straight after bad news, Barrett, if he's recovered by then, I don't think he will be. Right. Let's just take a quick break for. A change of character. Um, Mega Force Black. Red Wall Force. Oh, I like Geki Rangers. I don't know why. I, d I don't know if it was the fact that they just took it back down to three Rangers that year. It's just, I like Geki Rangers. It had nothing to do with the fact that it had a giant cat in it. Which one is Mega Force? I don't know the, the American names very well. Operator. Is he one of those? Is he like the car power rangers? Ah, I know that one. That's Magic Blue. Magic Blue. She was uh, she was scared of frogs, and they there was an episode where they um, where they fought the Ninja Girls, and the Ninja Girls were like they 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 did the whole trope of them riding a giant ninja frog, and she was like Kya Kaidu. And uh, she was shit. Let's see how she is in this. Okay, SPD Pink. <laughs> the fluffiest character in Super Sentai history. Who else we got? SPD Green. You know, I heard the reason that uh, Power Rangers SPD was so fucking good is that they gave the production of it, the localization of it, to a to a Kamen Rider fan. So there you go. Um, so yeah, back to, back to the rumble. Here's how, here's how it goes. Um, it's, it's, it's basically Roman in the ring versus, versus the League of Nations. And, uh, he's, he like plays the heroic underdog and it looks like he's going to lose. It seriously looks like he's going to lose for a while, but then the League of Nations turn on each other. And as a result, they about this is about going to be about 20 guys in by this point uh roman is able to get the drop on them and he is able to get del rio over the rope he is able to get rusev over the rope and he's and he's left with just a, a tired and exhausted Sheamus, and his victory looks assured. And the crowd are going wild, and JBL is saying, "Ah, oh, a year ago Roman Reigns wasn't ready, but now he is ready. He has taken the, the the League of Nations thought they could play games with him, but he has taken them on at their own game, and he has won. He is ready to play the game. Bang." Darkness, green spotlight, power cords. Are you ready to play the game? Out comes Triple H. Everybody try. Fuck. 
everybody tries to pretend that they're surprised. So, uh, the next 10 guys um, is going to be Sheamus versus Reigns. And Sheamus is going to keep nearly winning. Uh, sorry, Roman's going to keep nearly winning, but every time he has nearly got him over, um, Triple H comes and sabotages him, and Michael Cole will say something like, Oh, this is why they call him the Cerebral Assassin! Uh, but he, um, he, Roman keeps going, and before long, it's the point which which um, which Roman dreaded as his worst case scenario. There's still him in the ring. There's still Sheamus. There's still Triple H, and there's only one guy left to come out, which, as Triple H promised, is going to be a fully refreshed Brock Lesnar. And then the theme music starts. But wait. That's not Lesnar's theme music. It's AJ Styles! It's AJ motherfucking Styles, ladies and gentlemen! Anyway, AJ Styles comes out. He cleans everybody up. Um, heat against Triple H, because by switching places with, with Lesnar, he's spoiled Triple H's revenge plan against Roman Reigns. Heat against... Um, Heat against uh, Roman Reigns, because Roman's going to be like, oh, AJ Styles, I'm, I'm going to beat you. I, I could have beaten you, but uh, I, was, I was tired out. I demand a rematch so that we can fight fairly. Uh, there's going to be heat on the League of Nations. The League of Nations will go probably go straight to fast lane and have a match to determine which among themselves deserves to have a, a shot at WrestleMania. Yeah, uh, basically, um, heat for everybody, massive entertainment all round. That is how they should book the next Rumble. And I can't bear to play this terrible, cynical, fucking cash grab any longer. Don't you hate Ranger series where the Red Ranger is a dickhead? I mean, it works for it works for Carmen Rider. It worked for Cabito. Worked for a lesser extent for Fies and uh, Hibiki. But um, you can't have the Red Rangers meant to be like the linchpin of the team. You can't have a dickhead a Red Ranger. Perhaps that's why I like Barkin just so much because the after fucking Kai and fucking Major Red, I can't even remember what his name was. Barkin Red was oh, he was the man. He was a hero. I'm gonna go now before this gets sexual. Bye, everyone.